Hello, it is Foundation Friday, December 28th, 2018. Steve Cypress here. Aside my outdoor Christmas tree, still enjoying the holiday season and the Christmas season, even though the holiday has passed. Got a few more days, not even New Year's. So all the direction uh, decorations are still up. Speaking of decorations, a beautiful sunset behind me. I don't know if you can make out the red, orange, yellow, purple, blue colors. Beautiful back there. And since the sun is pretty much set, let's be quick today. It's a simple one, but it's very, very important. This is especially important as a foundational business tip to people just starting a business, especially if you are working a full-time job and you are transitioning out of the job, the corporate world, into running your own business, either at the same time or you're completely out of it, but it's your first business. Uh, this happens a lot with multi-level marketers, happens a lot with uh, anyone at all that's uh, really brand new solopreneur, first business, uh, or, or really new to the business world. And it's this concept of money, money going out. Money going out for personal things in your personal life and for people that have a job is spending money. Money that goes out for business owners is investing money, and that's the way you want to think of it. So the weekend is coming up, and people will be spending money over the weekend. I'm going to go out to eat. I'm going to go out to uh, have a party. I'm going to, people bought a lot of Christmas gifts, and a lot of these are spending money. This goes, by the way, uh, same with time, uh, effort, all resources. Uh, people that uh, do not own businesses are spending their time and spending their energy and spending their money. People in a business are investing their time, their energy, and their money and looking at the return on that investment. That's how you gauge where to invest your money, where you might get a return, and you want to think in those terms. So you want to stop. Uh, I hear this all the time when I'm talking to business owners, prospects, clients, uh, it, uh, again, especially people that are running a, a part-time business or a secondary business or multi-level marketing business, and they think they're in a real business, but then their brain does not. They say things like, I can't afford it, or I don't know if I can spend the money on that, or I don't have the money for that. These are not the way business people think or talk. So one of the foundational keys to becoming a successful business person is to learn to think like a business person. You don't have to learn to think, just start thinking like a business person. So when you catch yourself saying non-business-like things like I got to spend money or what does it cost and not thinking about should I invest money in that, what's the return, how do I come up with the money to make that investment, uh, even People that are in the 9 to 5 world know this when they buy a house. They don't usually buy a house for cash. They don't look at a $500,000 of their dream home and say, oh, I don't have $500,000 on me, can't buy it. They say, man, how can I figure out a way to get that house? I know I can put a little bit down. Maybe I can even borrow the down payment from somebody and then I can make payments over time and it might take me 30 years even to pay this thing off. See. I'm exaggerating, all that doesn't go through their mind because they just instantly think, hey, the home is an investment, it could go up in value, and so how do I find a way to pay for this? How can I qualify for this? What do I have to do? That's how business people think. We don't think of, oh, what does it cost? In fact, a lot of business people, when they go out to, to meals, if you're taking a prospect or taking a client, that's also an investment of money. So you're, again, not thinking about what it costs. You're thinking, is it worth the investment of the time and the money to go out and the effort to go out to dinner with this person? Could it return, get a return on that investment? Is that a smart thing to do? Same thing happens with trips. I take a lot of trips where I'm speaking at an event, hosting an event, attending a conference, an event, and I'll often tack on a few days before or after, and I'll make it into a business and a personal event. But I don't think about going on that event about what it costs, I'm thinking about the return on the investment. 
is it worth it for the flight, the hotel room, the meals, all the costs and the time, and the time away from my business and income producing activities I could otherwise be doing, that's known as opportunity cost, is it worth the investment of all these resources to get a payoff? Is there a payoff involved? What are the odds of me getting a payoff and how much could it be? That's the business thinking and I don't see that thinking all too often with, with business owners who are stuck who are not successful, who are not making money, who are not moving forwards, this is a big part of it. The thinking is goes to cost of things instead of where business people, we always think about the return on the investment because putting money, time, effort into our business is an investment. We're thinking investment. We're not thinking cost. Let the rest of the world think cost. That's 87% of Americans, by the way, that don't own a business. They're always thinking about the cost of everything. Okay, the cost of living, the cost of this, the cost of that. Business owners are thinking about investment and return on investment. That's only 13% of people here in America. I don't know what it is worldwide, but if you're making that transition and you want to make that transition to be an actual business owner, Start thinking like one. That'll do it for Foundation Friday. Facebook not show me who's here. I saw a couple of names earlier go by, but it's not showing me any questions, comments, concerns. So I will answer them after the video. Also, if you're watching on the replay, feel free to make a comment and I will respond to it there. That'll do it for Foundation Friday as the sun sets beautifully in the West. And I will be back tomorrow on Social Media Saturday, almost said Success Story Saturday, but tomorrow is Social Media Saturday. I'll have a tip to help you make money using social media websites, and I will catch you then. Bye-bye.